Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I it's, it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed any Jurassic toys, so I thought I'd go ahead and do one today. But just a few things I want to point out. I, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised with how well the 5 video turned out. And it's getting a bit popular. It's got over 100 views, which is insane. Um, it'll, I'll be doing a lot more Cot Zombies content on this channel. I'm not sure... I'll, I'll put on a YouTube poll in my community tab to, to figure out which map I'll be doing next. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't really been uploading a lot since then, but I've been incredibly busy with school. This is my last year of high school, and I'm also working a part-time job right now, and haven't really had a lot of time to do YouTube, but hey. I'm back and I'm gonna review it. And so, for today I'm gonna be reviewing this. This is a figure that when it came out, a lot of Jurassic Park fans lost their minds, specifically Jurassic Park 3 fans, because, hold on, I'll just get it out of the box. If you'll recognize it, this is the Hammond Collection Corythosaurus that was teased a really long time ago. I got it for Christmas. This one right here, actually, I got for Christmas and I've been wanting to unbox it for ages, but I've just been so busy that I have not been able to, like, at all. Oh, well. So here we go. Well, that took a little longer than I would have thought, but here's the figure itself out of the package. Speaking of which, we'll get a good look at the box. Yeah, this was back during the 30th anniversary hype, which we thought Universal would do something big for, but... Spoiler alert, they didn't. And here's the back of the box. There's a screenshot from Easel from Jurassic Park 3 right there. There's a picture of the figure itself. It says, with a defining duck bill and head crest, the Corythosaurus stampedes onto the scene as Dr. Alan Grant and Paul and Amanda Kirby desperately free flee from the Velociraptors on Isla Sorna. So yeah, like I said, I really like the Hammond collection packaging. Now, here's the figure itself. Now. This is, the Corythosaurus is honestly, it honestly isn't that popular in the fan community. It's, the design isn't really all that great, but in the movie at least, and Evolution's design is just even worse. But this actually looks really, really cool, I have to admit. It looks, holy crap. I also feel like I need to mention, this figure is actually kind of light. Like, it's night. It's really, really light, actually, and... It's also hollow, despite not being able to make sound, but... Yeah, other than that, yeah, this looks great. I love, love the texturing they did here. It looks really, really cool. I also love that, like, black striping effect in the middle of the body. Which is honestly painted on fairly well. There are just a few spots, like, right there. I don't know if you can see that, but, like, right there in front of the leg, there are some spots where the paint, I think, just it didn't dry all the way or something. What the? Um... Okay, I don't know if this is just an issue with mine, or if this is an issue with all of these, but this arm feels really, really loose. Yeah, what the heck is up with that? Anyways, so let's take a look at the head, which also looks really, really cool. Wait, what? Okay, there's just like a tiny paint error right there in front of the eye, but other than that, the head looks really great. The this is probably one of the most film accurate figures we've ever had. And like I said earlier, when this figure was announced, the whole fan community just lost their minds because Corythosaurus hasn't really been made into a toy for Jurassic, I think. Or if it has, I've never heard of heard of or seen one. Yeah, also the mouth is a bit the mouth is honestly, is really, really small. And 
and honestly and honestly kind of hard to open because the jaw is so small but other than that the head is sculpted and painted fairly well i also love these like little brown stripes that go along the back they look really cool um like a lot of mattel's figures the some of the hand claws aren't really aren't painted like at all but that's just to be expected with mattel the, the feet the foot claws are painted though and also again like a lot of mattel's figures the feet are a little oddly shaped but that's mostly to just help with stability which hold on can i stand this figure on two legs oh i can stand it on two legs i didn't know if i could because you saw in the earlier i had it like leaning down on all fours like this Never mind, it stands worse when it's on all fours. Now, there are like a few nitpicky issues I have with this figure. For instance, I already mentioned the loose arms, but why are the hands in such a weird pose? Like, I don't know what's up with that. It just looks like... It just looks like they have really loose wrists. Also, I really like the articulation on the on the legs, but it is a little hard to get the feet in the right position. Maybe if I lay it flat like this. Okay, it's standing on its heels. All right. Yeah, other than that, this is a fantastic figure when I'm definitely glad to welcome them into my collection. I'm not too sure how much it costs. Like I said, I got this for Christmas. I didn't buy this myself. But I don't know, maybe like the $15, $20 range, maybe. Maybe, maybe it says on the box. Never mind, it doesn't say it anywhere on the box. But yeah, anyways, guys, this is a great figure, and I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any new videos. I probably won't be doing a missing Doctor Who episode review like the Celestial Toymaker again for a good while because that video was such a nightmare to edit. But I will be trying to get into this cycle of Jurassic Park video, Doctor Who video, COD Zombies video, and maybe like stick to that cycle for a bit. That's probably my plan. Speaking of which, I have an interest, a pretty cool small Doctor Who video that I made that I think you will, you guys will enjoy. And I will see you guys then. So long.